Okay, today we're going to dispel the myth that you can't convert a dual overflow mega flow tank into a Durso or Bean style overflow. So let's take a look at how this thing is running at the back. This is completely plumbed and running. Each of the compartments has both a full siphon and a open channel. Full siphon in an open channel. And as you can see, this is exactly where it should be for the open channel, exactly where it should be for the open channel. So both of the holes in here, normally as built by the manufacturer, the larger hole would be the drain, the smaller hole would be the return. I calculated I wouldn't get as much flow as I wanted by using two full siphons in the smaller hole, so I used the larger hole to get two full siphons. Anyway, so we have two full siphons with a large drain, and we have two open channels with a smaller drain. The return is over the back. So I've used a simple PVC pipe, one inch. This is capped off and over the top. This is your feed pipe. These are my new favorite connector, by the way. Uh, these um, connectors right here. They're the compression fittings, lets you rotate the plumbing within the compression fitting, which is very nice. As you know, I do have a valve on every line, and that's, um, well, for the for the larger one, it's to tune the full siphon. For the smaller one, it's simply to uh, shut it off for maintenance and stuff like that. I'm using a Jebio pump, DC6000, which is uh, pretty much their lowest pump, and working spectacularly, able to easily feed both of these full siphon drains. So. Let's look into very quickly why you don't need an emergency drain on this tank. Primarily it's because the amount of water that would pump up from the sump into the main tank is not enough to flood the tank. This chamber, the return chamber, will run dry before that happens. And don't ask me how I know this, but you can run these pumps for a week with almost no water in them and they still don't burn out. But in either case, you don't need to have an emergency. It's, uh, it really does nothing. The other thing you'll notice is, although I drilled a hole in the top of these, I did not put the fitting in. I bought the fitting but didn't put it in because, you know, simply you just don't need it. It just doesn't matter. So, all this doesn't mean anything unless you can actually see it in action. So let's shut this off and we'll do it from the beginning. So I'm going to hit the feed mode. This is going to shut the entire thing off. You can hear it draining down now. Coming back into the tank, to the sump. Everything's draining down. One thing to be careful of, these return lock lines will act as a siphon if they're too far into the surface. So as you see, I have them pretty close to the top. Uh, and that kind of helps them not to turn into a full siphon. So anyway, this is now dra uh, draining back to the bottom. And it's pretty much done. As you can see, my sump can more than handle anything that would possibly drain. These are all stopping where you'd expect them to which is right below the full siphon. Again, right below the full siphon. The rest of this volume, both of these are just set in here. Uh, all four of these drains are set in here. None of them are glued. Um, so they're just set in there. So they do probably leak a little bit, uh, but this entire volume, even if it were to leak down to the bulkhead, would not flood this sump. It's just not enough water. So anyway, it's done now, completely drained. Let's turn it back on and see how long it takes to equalize and come back up. So we're back to full volume. We're not going to start. This is a soft start pump. So it takes a while to, to get everything up. And let's see what we get in here. And we're starting, starting to get some flow. And our overflows are just starting to fill and get down. And as you're going to see in a minute, these will tend to go right on up to above our open channel and it'll make a little bit of noise but we're not even remotely close to over overloading and what happened is that open channel pretty much went full siphon on both sides as it went up and prevented it from getting too too terribly deep so but you can see this is uh, working well and as you see, the water is slowly receding to where it should be. 
and this one's already done. So this one's on its way to being equalized. By the way, these are equalized individually. So treat these as two separate drains. Get one side to work, then get the other side to work, uh, and then you'll be you'll be fine. This one takes a little longer to get going. I'm not quite sure why, but this side here is pretty much equalized, and that's pretty much at running where it's supposed to run right now. This one here, for some reason, like I said, it takes a little bit longer to equalize, but it'll eventually pick up and, and go down and and everything will be happy. So we'll take a look down here. Getting a little bit of turbulence in the sump from that drain equalizing. Uh, but we've still got plenty of water. Um, this side's still happy, doing what it needs to do. This slide is slowly going down, slowly going down. And there we go. So that one is now on its way to equalization as well. And this is pretty much set and forget. This did not take me a long time to get this um, equalized out. It didn't take long at all. In fact, it was pretty simple like a couple of minutes literally once it was done and turned on a couple of minutes so now we're back running look at that all right and just to prove to you that this will not flood in the very unlikely event that all four of these drains clog which is a virtual impossibility but let's let's go with that let's 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 simulate a clog in every one of these drains okay this one we'll close that all the way okay done that's closed all right as you can see now that's going to continue to increase the level a little bit let's shut this off now all right and you're seeing now that's full completely let's go shut this one off all right now we're going to shut this one off we're going to simulate a failure here too done and let's simulate a failure on this one. We're going to close this all the way. All right, all four drains are completely blocked. As you can see, water's continuing to go in the tank. We've got an enormous amount of space. I could put probably another 10 gallons of water in this tank before it would flood. And as you see, the pump is now cavitating. It's run out of water. And again, these things can take more than you suspect they can take. So, let's go ahead now and open it back up just to see how easy it is to tune we're gonna open this all the way we're gonna open this all the way all right we're gonna open our full siphons all the way and we're gonna open this full siphon all the way and not all the way but halfway what I think is probably enough and then we'll watch and we'll do a little, since I've screwed my tuning up now by shutting those all the way, we'll just see how long it takes to get this siphon back up. Probably not, it's probably not gonna take long. And as you see here, I'm slowly closing this to retune this. It is, I can trust you, it's not gonna take long to retune this to get back working again. And it's pretty much coming up there now and doing it. Yeah. So our full siphon is about to start in that drain. And this side is already equalized. So I just hit that one dead on just by dumb luck, I guess. And this one is pretty much also equalized. It's getting a little bit tall. I'm going to open my siphon a little bit more. And as you'll see, just a tiny touch will immediately make that thing start to reduce come down to the right level and we're pretty much where we want to be I mean this is pretty much a fully tuned uh, really a Herbie overflow which is a full siphon and an open channel and again the, the emergency drain is really completely unnecessary on my other system I also use these compression fittings the ability to be able to turn this plumbing within this stuff is just immeasurable the good in the so we're back so everything works. I mean, this is a very simple way. You don't get any stagnant water in your overflows. 
uh, and you have two full siphons, one on each side, and two open channels, one on each side. So I hope you enjoy this video. It can show you that you can take a 125 gallon tank with uh, Megaflows, uh, turn it into a more efficient drain system, and more efficient return system by going over the back. But I'm, you know, again, through the wall, so your mileage may vary. But um, whatever you can do with this, the over the back is certainly the way to go, I think, and using these both as drains is, is useful. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video.